there. I'm Sandra Noy and I'm the garden coordinator at University Elementary and I just wanted to share an update with you on our habitat garden. So our habitat garden was funded in large part by the school garden network. We were able to apply for a grant to develop our habitat garden at our school and we used this opportunity as a very large school-wide project. So students in every grade had the opportunity to do the research on which animals would be most appropriate for the type of habitat and what we needed to provide with regard to food, shelter, and water for those particular animals. So I'm gonna take you on a tour of our habitat garden so you can see how it's growing. So this is the entrance, the main entrance to our habitat garden. And you can see that we have a central focal point. We put a water um, structure there, a um, bird, uh, bird bath. And we show off our schoolyard habitat program sign there. And the entrance is bordered on either side by a manzanita. There are so many manzanitas that are native to California. So we were really excited to select this as sort of the greeter plant to enter um, the main part of our garden. They were pretty small when we purchased them, so it'll be a little while before they are super showy. Um, but along with the manzanita, we have a lot of other California natives. So the large bushes you can see along the back fence are Ceanothus, a California lilac. And they were planted actually before we developed this spot. They were planted about five years ago, um, just as a, um, a beautification project. So we could, you know, kind of hide the fence that's back there. Um, but our students were able to learn about different animals and the, their needs for food, shelter, and water, and then select the plants based on what would attract them and hopefully support them for every season through the year that they would be present. So this is a fun part of our garden back here. This is the lizard and snake area. Um, and so we have some grasses and we have a low water source. We have a brush pile and you'll notice along the edge we have a rock wall because snakes and lizards need to, you know, get out and sun themselves. So this section here is one of our pollinator areas and they look sort of uh, not productive right now but the sage bushes are normally really gorgeous and in flower in the spring and summer and, and even the fall really. Uh, and then we have some shrubs in there that will also provide shelter. So this is all under development, um, you know, everything grows at its own pace and we've had such a great time working on this project. We just were ready to break ground on this project at the beginning of um, distance learning in March last year. So we've got about 50% of our plants planted and we're hoping that we'll be able to do another um, like a socially distanced planting maybe this spring. Um, to get the rest of our plants in so that we can attract even more animals. We've already seen many, many pollinators, so bees and butterflies, of course, lots of lizards, um, one of which, or actually two of the lizards that were the target animal for our students, the California alligator lizard and the Western fence lizard. Um, we have found both of them here. Um, and the Ceanothus, especially back there, we found at least four different types of bees on it. Um, we've had honeybees and carpenter bees um, and multiple types of bumblebees, um, as well as, oh, there was one more. <laughs> I forgot, I'm sorry. So we are really grateful to School Garden Network for their support, and I hope they're able to continue this habitat uh, garden development program at our local schools because it's been a really fantastic addition to our school garden and the students love connecting with the garden through video and photography during this distance learning phase. If you'd like to check out more pictures of our school garden, you're welcome to visit our website um, at tinyurl.com forward slash ulfgarden. That's tinyurl dot com forward slash u e l f garden 
thanks for visiting and I hope you enjoy the update.